I knew that FPV drones existed, but I didn't really know anything about them. It started when my mate Jesse got a DJI Avada and offered to let me fly it after I learned on the sim. Oh yeah! Oh! Oh! Oh yeah! <laughs> so later that week we went out and flew the thing and it was something else. Nothing like any other drone I've flown before. Something deep inside me just clicked and I realised just how much freedom you could get from this thing in the, in the manual mode. So after that hit of adrenaline, I started researching. Two weeks straight of Barwell videos and Oscar Liang's website and anything else I could soak up, I decided to buy my first radio controller. Crazy. And then, after I practiced on the sim, I decided to finally build my own drone. So this is my first five inch build. We turned up to the shop and went, hey, I want to make it cheap, the cheapest possible analog build. I would listen all these parts out and then, oh, you got goggles? I'm like, no, okay, we have to get some goggles, it's gonna be a few hundred. I was thinking, this is gonna be expensive. Jesse mentioned, oh, well, I've already got these DJI goggles. What if we, like, make it a DJI set? I'm like, that's, that's crazy. We did, we did do it, so. My first build ever is gonna be digital, a DJI digital setup. Risky, I know. Like to live life on the edge, I guess. Okay, so what we've got is this, an Axis Flying Manta 5-inch freestyle frame. Don't know if it's good or bad, we're gonna find out. Stack we're working, it's not even a stack, we got a ESC and a flight controller. It's an F405, it's a mini as well. We're gonna run 6S battery. So this is a 1380 milliamp 6S battery. We only have one, by the way. <laughs> I also got one of these because I have a ELRS controller, so I wanna use that as well. But we can use the DJI controller with this. There's a receiver in there somewhere, I, I don't know. I just learned about this today. So it like, shoots 4K 120. Yeah, 4K. We don't even need to put a this, GoPro on it. This here, this is crazy. It's anyway, crazy. Yeah, these are the motors, 22207s, I think they are. Uh, they're for 6S. They're 1960 KB. We've got this bad boy. Hoda, where's the front of this thing? Huh? That's a good brand for battery chargers. It's a, it's a good starting point, I, I think. This should last me for years. <laughs> Some other things he gave us were props. Props don't matter too much, as long as they're five inch props, and these are. And each packet comes with two clockwise and two counterclockwise battery straps and flux. So this is everything. I'm excited to build this. What's first, the frame? Yeah. This build process is gonna be a few days, I think. But anyway, let's um, let's go open up this frame and have a look at it. Oh, look at that! Comes with battery straps. Yeah. These look cooler as well. Yeah, these are sick. That's, look at the colours of that, that's so cool. Shows you the degree of the camera. Zero to 30. You must feel it's good quality as well. There's a few layers to this guy. Fire. Some arms. It's everything. But what I've done so far is completed the, the frame except for the top bit. I've done a few motors. I've done three motors here. I'm gonna do this final motor now. These guys screwed in. It's just oh, the four screws there. the soldering stage, which I'm actually really nervous about because this stuff that I'm soldering is expensive. It's quite nerve wracking, but I'm sure we'll be right. As long as I take my time, don't be stupid, we'll be good. All right, so these are the stack screws that came with this frame. That one. Is that all right? I tried to see if that's a normal thing. If some are meant to go through, if some are meant to screw in, I just couldn't figure it out. And then a small M3 nut to secure it in there. I don't have any spanners or a socket set small enough. So we use this guy. Done. Now we can put the ESC on there. This guy, I already put these little rubber dudes in. Just using a bit of floss and pulling it through. They just popped right in. Now we've got to orientate it to be this way. Because you've got the battery on the back and that plug on the front. So we'll just slide that down. That looks good. Now we need to cut these to be the right length. I'm nervous, man. He's about to start soldering. Yeah. Flux. Uh, I don't know if you flux these or not, but I'm just gonna do it. All right, here we go. That's a good one. Okay, maybe it's not that good, but no. there's solder on there. First solder job onto the ESC. Oh God. Let's make sure there's plenty of flux on there. <laughs> That's not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, 
for surely. There we go. That's how you do it. I'm learning. This to there. Am I holding it in the right yes, spot? Hold it there, Holy hold it shit, that thing's hot. I can feel the heat yeah. coming off of it. It's all right, okay, Maybe we use um. It's fine, though. I can't do this. Okay, all right, all right. It's fluxing again. You're a flux freaking freak, bro. I'm scared, bro. I want to make sure it goes on good. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Not on. Maybe I can do it with no solder. Let's try that. Yeah, we'll More try More flux. Yeah. Oh, that, yeah, that's the way to go. I felt that go in. Do you reckon that's on, though? Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's connected. That's connected. Oh, that was a risky one. Big bubble. Oh, look at that guy. It's a big dog bubble, that is. It's a shit job, but it's gonna work. There's a lot of solder on there. If they're all gonna be like that, we definitely need a smoke stopper. It's not how the um the videos no, look, man. No, they're nicely balled on. Cable tie around here somewhere. And then that's that done, basically. So I'm gonna do the others. All right, if you look around, we've done the motors. We also put in the O3 air unit, which comes along through here. I have white on the XT60 as well. And now I've just plopped the flight controller on and we're gonna chuck some nuts that we got from Bunnings on the top. These ones you don't need to do too tight, as long as it touches. It'd be good if we had locked tight nuts, but we don't, so. All right, we're, we're, we're looking pretty good though. We're pretty much there, right? Almost, almost. Let him cook. Can also plug this in. <laughs> okay, it's gonna go like there somewhere. Nice. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, we're gonna put some cable ties around it as well. And I think that'll be good. Dogcom 6S battery. XT60, I think. Whoa! <laughs> Let's see, what, see what's running. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Jesus, I asked you if this can blow up as well. I think so. Oh my oh. god, I think you need to turn it off first yeah. and then plug it in. This doesn't shock as well, right? And he's like, nah, I don't think so. Yeah. You're doing a lot of guessing, man. I've done no research. I know. Zero. <laughs> so you want this? Yeah, I watch a video. Hang on. So we'll plug, plug in both. Can we turn it on? Alright. Good, 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 good. We're good. So we could plug it in right now, see if it works. But after experiencing that, bro, I'm a bit scared. Yeah, to plug that's what I mean. Now we're out of stock of smoke stoppers. So I'm testing for continuity, which I've only just learned about, so I could, this could be completely wrong. So I've switched over to this setting here. So we want to see that. Basically, we don't, we don't want to see this. So I'm going to touch the same thing, and it's going to give me a number close to zero. That's bad, that means there's a short somewhere, but obviously I'm just touching itself, so it shorts itself. So. But when I touch each individual, it gives me that. And that's good. Um, I guess we plug it in. I could look like a complete idiot. Oh crap, bro. Oh my God, okay, you actually doing it? All right, let me get away. It's not gonna be that bad, bro. <laughs> I am so nervous, man. You think it's gonna, you think it's gonna, okay. Do you think it's gonna go up? I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know. I don't know enough. This is my first drone I've ever built. Yeah. I'm so nervous. Go on. Here we go. Three, two, one. Beep. Beep. Oh my God. Is that good? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Look at that! That's so good. Oh. Mission success. That was the most stress I've ever been in my entire life. <laughs> oh, yes. yes. On to the next thing. So now we are um, gonna test uh, if the motors are working correctly. So are they gonna turn on? Are they gonna spin? They're gonna spin. Yeah, yeah. Oh. That's why you don't put these on yet. Yeah. Otherwise, we'll take off. Uh, oh. No plug this in. <laughs> oh, we need the battery. <laughs> <laughs> Spin the right way. Whoa, what do you mean you're gonna put that on? Are you Just crazy? Slowly, slowly. Okay, cool. So that. I should go in clockwise. Okay, so yeah, well that's the one I, I did wrong, so I need to invert that one. Three should be in clockwise. Yeah. Yep. Fuck. Yeah, just this one. It might take off, bro. Yeah, I don't want to overheat it. Okay, um. I then soldered the receiver onto the flight controller, screwed the top plate on, chucked a lipo on it, and we headed to the field for the maiden flight. Shit, boys, this is about to be the first flight. Here we go, people. With our first oh, FPV drone ever. I mean, we've flown the Avada, but. Oh my god! <laughs> 
Tom's gonna be the one to fly it first because he built pretty much all of it, so. All right. Oh. Up, up, yes, yeah. <laughs> How's it fly? Quick, too fast. Really? Too fast. Oh, it looks so cool. Bring it over here, bring it over here. Fly around the playground. Look at that. Yo, you're very controlled with it. That's sick. Oh, it's perfectly level. Like it's not tilting forwards like, oh, now it is now. I'm going slow, that's why. Yeah. Gave it some. Oh, bro, this is so cool. All the birds! <laughs> Please don't hit me, bro. Nah, this is too cool, man. Look at that. It's pretty high. Do a little drop. Yo. Oh. Nah, this is too cool. This is way Are you too cool. comfortable. Yeah. Like it's quick, man. It's real fast and it looks beautiful. Do you reckon there's time for me to have a go? Oh no, actually I don't want to crash it first day. All right, down we go. Damn, that's a drop. Like, like, look at that. Like, that's oh my. That's nothing. That's sick. Go down this way. Whoa, whoa. Flip. Whoa, whoa, bro. That was so fast. That was nothing. <laughs> really? Because in real life, man, that looked really fast. Are you doing that again? No, I'm just going to try and land. Are you going to do another little flip? No, I'm going to try and land. Okay, you're going to try and land? All right. Not over there. That's, that is muddy, bro. Oh. That is muddy, bro. Oh. Oh. Let me just go up. <laughs> that was... That was inches away from yeah, that I mud. Did. Oh. My. God, there's literally a mud puddle right there. All right, where are you going to try and land? In front of you. I feel like you should land over here. Where are you pointing? Like, you can't see me? I can see, I can see. Yeah, like here. Okay. Use me. Forward, forward. Slow, slow. Forward, forward, forward. Yeah, that's good, that's good. That's a good spot. Nice. Nice. Nice job, bro! Oh my god! <clears throat> yes, yeah. Oh, no, nah, that's. It is so much faster than the Avada, it's f***ed up. Really? My heart is going crazy, man. That was incredible. That was incredible. Someone called me again. This is the last notice. UPS quality Nice. Oh. I can't, I, oh, that's incredible. It's actually incredible. That was, that was incredible. That was unbelievable. Oh, a bit foggy. Oh, my God.
uh, over the last two months, there's been a couple modifications uh, to the drone. Got some uh, TPU, I think it's called, uh, 3D printed like soft plastic. So that brings the camera out and doesn't have those stupid walls on the side blocking the vision. Only thing of that is could get scratched if it has a head on crash, which is why I've got this uh, like an ND filter, but it's just clear to protect the lens in case of a crazy crash. Had to buy new standoffs because of that, so they're golden. At the back here, we've also got another 3D printed part for the O3 antenna, as well as the receiver antenna. And then the X-T60 just comes up there for the battery. That's what we've got. Soldering is still crap, but it works. It's been working for just two months. So <laughs> I even flew it around Seacliff Bridge. So yeah, that's that. I'm probably gonna keep flying. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna keep flying. I really enjoy it. It's really fun. I made this little case. I didn't make the case. This is a uh, microphone case that I just had out to fit in the radio controller and the goggles. This makes it easier to, for travel. Oh, and also now we've got four batteries, two dog comms, and two China Hobby lines. Both work great. Alright, that's that. <laughs> Till next time. Peace out. Yeah.